Hi, it's science Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching in today's reading. We're going to take a look and see what is it that your person wants to share with you. Okay, so what is it that they want to share with you, but they're holding back for whatever reason? It is going to be a general reading, you guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below. In the meantime, I want you to take a moment, pause the video. And I want you to think of your person, and this is going to be their messages to you. Okay, this person is hard to read okay for a lot of you um, you haven't been able to gauge this person very well um, this is someone who is um, someone who might be a little bit yeah it might be a little bit difficult for you to know what this person is thinking or feeling and maybe that's why you find yourself here okay because you want to get um, a better indication as to how this person feels um, about you about the relationship um, they are romantically involved they are emotionally involved and emotionally invested in this relationship um, but at the same time I feel like this is someone who is they're very drawn and they're very attracted to you but I'm also seeing that this is someone who doesn't necessarily you know come across that way okay so they may have a bit of the um, empress energy going off where they're a little bit emotionally detached or emotionally aloof because the emperor is not someone who's overly affectionate he's not someone who's you know very mushy or lovey-dovey so um, i'm not saying that they're you know not like not overly affectionate they're just not coming across that way at least for now anyways um this is someone who i feel like is very um in touch they're very in touch with their feminine side this is someone who's very intuitive and i feel like this person intuitively can feel that there is a strong and powerful connection and bond between the two of you i'm also seeing that this person is very much they're in control of their emotions okay so they are invested it's just that they've got a really firm grip or handle of their emotions i'm also seeing that right now with the five of swords there is some sort of conflict or some sort of tension um, I don't know whether this alludes to conflict and tension between the both of you or whether there's just something going on with this person. I'm also seeing that this person is a little bit afraid. They may be afraid to approach you. They may be afraid to make a move. They may be afraid to ask you out. They may be afraid to open up their heart to you. Um, could have something to do with the fact that this person might feel like you're out of their league. They feel like they're punching above their weight with you. Um, they feel like you're a little out of their league, like you're too good for them. Um, maybe they feel like... Th and that's that obviously stems from an insecurity of some sort. So this person uh, potentially is feeling a little insecure about themselves and is therefore and therein projecting their insecurities onto maybe you or onto this relationship. You potentially... They could be having some... They could have some like stiff competition so they know that you know other people want you to or at the very least you know they may think that you know um, they may see you as someone very attractive and they know that you attract a lot of romantic suitors and therefore this person knows that they have competition around them and maybe they don't think that they stand a chance with you or maybe they feel like you know they don't have the most to offer you or they're not the best looking out of their bunch this person is just feeling a little bit inadequate or a little bit insecure about themselves um they are very attracted to you, they are very drawn to you, but I see that they're in their head a lot. I see that this person is really in their head a lot. They um I think they they like they overthink. I feel like this is someone who overthink things, who overanalyzes things, and the problem with that is they're overcomplicating it. Like I don't think things are necessarily as complicated between you and this person as they think it is, right? Um, and I just think it's some of their insecurity that's shining through. They're feeling a little insecure about themselves. Um, they may potentially feel like just, you know, just because you do have, you might have like a lot of um, male or female friends and this person feels like, you know, that that's, they feel threatened by it. And again, it, it, it's not that you're doing anything wrong. It's just that, you know, their jealousy or their insecurity is really shining through. Um, if there's no contact or very little contact or communication between the two of you, expect to have a lot of contact and communication with this person in the very near future, okay? Fire is a very um, 
the element itself is very quick moving very fast paced so expect a lot of communication a lot of contact to come in from this individual so if you're going through a period where you guys are you know a little bit disconnected or you know where things are just a little bit awkward at the early stage and if, and if you guys aren't necessarily talking then expect there to be a shift in the energies um Along those lines, if this is someone whom you're attracted to, if it's like a crush and someone whom you're drawn to, and if this person hasn't necessarily made like a move towards you, then expect for them to make some very, um, it's a very big, it's a very bold move towards you. So they may potentially ask you out, they may potentially open up their heart to you, tell you how you how they feel about you to, they may tell you just how attracted they feel towards you and you know how you've been you know their crush um and how they've been a secret admirer of yours for some time so expect this big bold move almost left come out of nowhere left field and i think that will take you by um that will take you by surprise this person yeah i just feel like right now with the ace of cups this person might feel a little bit overwhelmed right um they may feel a little bit overwhelmed with either with how to approach you or with where to take things from now so um, they see that there's so much potential between you and them, um, but at the same time, they just, I don't think that they feel, they're feeling really good about themselves right now. It may have something to do with the fact that they're going through some things, and as a result, that's kind of, you know, hindering or damaging their self-esteem, which is um, what's caused them maybe to pull away or to act a little bit distant um, between the two of you. I'm also seeing, yeah, that they're very um, withdrawn, okay? There could be someone who doesn't, who's not overly, you know, they don't overly, they don't like to talk about their feelings, um, or this is someone who's a little bit shy, a little bit like emotionally reserved, a little bit closed off, and it takes a while for this person to warm up, it could be that as well, um, they definitely, I feel like there's some things that they want to share with you, so this person could potentially, and because of the Ace of Cups, I feel like this person might potentially you know be in love with you or they could see themselves falling in love with you um but again they could be very shy they could they could be waiting for the right time to say this and to share this with you um they just may feel like things aren't you know things aren't the best they're not in the um, best of places for them I just or they may be they're wanting for everything to be perfect and they wait they're waiting for the right time they're waiting for the right circumstances to open up and to you know share this with you uh, maybe they're waiting for you to say some things first it just feels like the ace of cups you know you've definitely stirred some very new some very foreign and exciting feelings maybe this person has never truly felt um, about anyone that the way that they feel about you and maybe this is all very like new and foreign and unfamiliar territory as exciting as it is it is still a little bit overwhelming right um, maybe they've loved before just not the way that they see themselves loving you it's like it's new or maybe you know it's been quite some time um, that they've felt this way about someone it's like you've stirred some dormant feelings inside of them okay it's or it's like you've awakened like these very new exciting feelings that they've never felt they've never felt this way about someone else and they've never felt this way about themselves before the way that they feel you know about themselves when they're with you um yeah i feel like this person is their heart's very open I feel like this is someone who's ready, uh, like, you know, they're ready to love, they're ready to fall in love, they're ready to, um, you know, start a life, start a new life, they're ready to start a chapter, like, um, you know, they're ready for all of these things, they're ready to put themselves, to put their heart out there, they're ready to fall in love and be loved in return, like, I can see that this person is ready, I can also see that they're a little bit afraid, they're just a little bit afraid that, you know, if they do fall in love, um, you might not potentially love them back as much as they might love you, or, you know, if they do fall in love, they might risk getting their heart broken in the process, but there's no guarantees right there's no guarantees in love so I, I can see that they are a little bit hesitant or i can see that they're a little bit uh tense about really opening themselves up and fully exploring the depths of the connection but this person is so ready this person is really ready to start like to build a life with you to start a relationship or to move um the connection into the next phase the next stage of the relationship um, they are ready and they're hoping that you know you're ready too this is someone who is, I, I see them making this big 
bold move and I see them coming in with this really big bold love offer they have this offer that they're presenting to you uh, my question is are you going to take it are you going to accept it because this is someone who um, this is someone who you know who obviously sees the potential in this and who wants to run with it this is someone who um, you know wants to make things exclusive or official with you this is someone who wants to enter into a relationship with you this is someone who um, you know, they want to build a life. They want to build on this connection. But they're hoping that you want the same in return. And they're hoping that, you know, you're going to match and parallel their efforts as well. All right, guys. And these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye.